What's up guys, I'm Riley Versfeldt for ID8 TV. We're here at the 26th Annual Festival of Filipino Arts and Culture, taking a look at what the Filipino culture is like in Los Angeles. with sticks right now but in the real world in the olden days it was machetes I don't think I quite have the skills to protect myself against that right now and actually in the modern times a lot of times is a machete it's actually on the FBI's list of weapons you'd be attacked with it's very very high up there probably higher than a gun and probably higher than a stick it would be a machete that is some new information that I'm learning today. You learn something new every day, don't you, kids? This is Ave Jacinto with KNL. Tell me what that means again. All right, KNL means Kayamanan Nang Lahi. Kayamanan is treasures, and Nang Lahi means of our people. So we are Kayamanan Nang Lahi Philippine Folk Arts, treasures of our people, performing Filipino folk dance today at FPAC. And she taught me a couple moves just a couple seconds ago. Do these moves have any meanings to the Filipino culture? Absolutely. The, this, the moves that we taught her, which is for provincial dances as well as Maria Clara Spanish dances, are basic movements that are in every Filipino dance. The basic sway balance and also the basic waltz. And uh, as far as the meaning, it is just having fun as being part of the people and just enjoying yourself. And let me tell you, those moves look kind of simple, but they're trickier to catch on to than they seem. How long have you been doing this? Oh, well, Kayamanan has been around 27 years. So we're celebrating our 27th year this year. I've been doing it almost all my life. And for someone who just started today, she did great. <laughs> Jeremy Lin made history being the first Asian American backcourt in history. How does that feel? Uh, definitely something that's always going to go down in the books. Uh, something historic. So, definitely something cool. Uh, you know, we're just going to continue to do great things for the for our culture and, um, you know, for, for the league too. And you've got an African American dad and a Filipino American mom. How was that growing up? How did their cultures influence you in your career? Um, I mean, probably the biggest thing is just all toughness um, and the passion for what we do. Uh, if that's art, uh, playing basketball, reading a book, you know, it's all about, you know, passion and what we care about. So uh, that's probably the biggest thing that was given to me when I was little and, you know, I still go by it. trying for the first time some traditional Filipino food, a chicken adobo and lupia. The sisig bowl. The sisig bowl. And what does that entail? Well, uh, this there's different versions. So this version, it had pork belly. Me, personally, I prefer the pig's head all chopped up, the ears, the head, everything. And it's like crunchy and it's sizzling on a platter. I'm but sorry, I'll you said pig head? It's, a, it's traditionally supposed to be made out of pig head. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Oh. I think this is sounding pretty good. Teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it? Give me a high five.